Got a website that could use a little updating or freshening up? This special is about quick fixes you can make to make your site better. Welcome to the KZ Show. I'm Brent Kobayashi. And today I'm going to run through seven quick fixes to refresh your site and add years to its life. Let's start with the obvious or what seems obvious, but may not be. Because chances are things have changed since you did your website. Have you added anything new, a new product or service? Have you changed your business hours? Has anything about your industry changed? New rules, new priorities? Now, here's something you may have missed, and it could be why your website isn't producing results as well as it used to. Has your competition changed? Have you even checked lately? Google your type of product or service and see who comes up ahead of you in the search. Now check out their sites and see how well your website and offerings stack up. Chances are you've got some aggressive new competitors and some old ones who've upped their game. So you need to up yours. They may also be staying top of mind by constantly posting new content in blogs and social media. Have you been maintaining your news and blog? If not, either commit to adding at least one per month or remove your blog. If your latest posts are recent, you look like an active organization. If your latest posts are old, they make you look stagnant. Now, new content will help you catch up or even overtake your competition. Because if you stand still while everything around you moves forward, you're falling behind. The way you organize your content made sense to you, but it may not be how your users want to navigate your site. Most want to find what they're looking for in the fewest number of clicks. And they'll give up if they can't find what they're looking for quickly and easily. Other users like to browse, but if they can't find their way back, they'll give up too. So simplify your navigation. Do a site audit. List the tasks people do on your site. Submit a form, find a person, a product, or a service. Then be a user and perform these tasks. Are they quick and easy to accomplish? How many clicks do they take? Three, five, 10? Reorganize your menu items to be more user-friendly. If your site isn't very old, its design probably doesn't look dated, but maybe it could use some livening up. Are your colors a bit drab? Do you lack graphics to break up the type? Pages that are too type heavy look like hard work to read. Do your key points jump out at you or are they buried? Do you have clear calls to action to prompt users to act? Quick fix number three, tweak your site's look. Freshen up your colors, add graphics like icons, photos, and illustrations. Make your key points stand out. Highlight them with bigger, bolder type. Make your CTAs unmissable with a bright pop of color. You probably had a pro design your site in the first place, so get a pro to redesign all the additions you made since so your whole site looks polished. Make a list of the pages you added content to so nothing gets missed. Your homepage is where people form their first impressions of you before they do any factual research. So it has to impress and it has to tell them what they need to know. Who are you, what you do, how you're different, and what's new. It's also the jumping off point for all your other content. So improving it and any other key page could make the biggest difference. Quick fix number four, update your homepage. Update your content with anything new or anything that's more important than it used to be. Make sure your navigation cues for users are clear and simple. Your menu, your buttons, and your calls to action. Update the look your page design, the colors, the layout, the graphics. And there's one more homepage item that's so important, it's a quick tip all by itself. On the internet, 30 seconds can feel like an hour. Users today have no patience for sliders. They want to scroll through your site quickly and get things done. They will not sit through a whole series of sliders so they're never going to see sliders three to seven, especially if they can't click through them quickly and stop on what they're looking for. Choose the one to be your focal point then get rid of all the rest or shrink them down and show them below. So quick fix number five, get rid of your sliders. Choose one main image. What's the one thing you want people to know when they arrive? Your positioning, your new product, that has to be your focal point. Delete 
and move all the others down lower on the page or turn them into navigation links. For example, if you lead with a new product, make sure your perennial bestsellers are also represented without them competing with your big news. When you go from this to this, users can see everything all at once and they won't miss anything you want them to see. Another pet peeve of mine from a marketing perspective, websites with testimonials all on one page. A page filled with testimonials creates a lot of work for the user. People don't want to have to read through a lot of stuff to find the one testimonial relating to the product or service or staff member they're interested in. Also, what if a user never clicks on that page? So, quick fix number six, place your testimonials where people will stumble across them. Where would that be? Beside whatever they relate to, a product, a service, a person on your staff, this way people will accidentally absorb how great you are especially if you cut down the quote to only the most relevant portion. Unless your website is brand new, it may be vulnerable to hackers, even if you've missed only one security update. If you've been using a lot of plugins, you may have missed quite a few, so make sure that every system and every component is secure. Quick fix number seven, strengthen your site's security. Check for updates and update everything. Your website's operating system, Ask your web host, your applications, every plugin. If you don't have a professional maintaining your site, opt for automatic updates. Also, use a password protection manager. Use auto-generated strong passwords and train your staff in online security. In an upcoming full-length episode of The KZ Show, we'll be discussing website security in a lot more detail. But for now, thanks for watching. Keep watching to see our complete quick fix list.